Hey there, Dr. Dave here with a Mindstorms EV3 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at getting input from the user into the device using buttons. Okay, I hope you enjoy. First thing I'm going to do is add a variable to represent the current power of the uh, motors. Just move that down a little bit so we've got more room. So we can either add a new variable. You'll see here I've actually got a variable to represent power already defined. So that what we're going to do here is just set the value of that to 50 for the power as the default. Next we're going to do is display or reset the display. So we just go into there, go down to the reset display option. And then we're going to print out a prompt for the user to um, increase or update the power. So we're going to type in there, so enter power. And notice here we've got the X column and Y column. We've both set those to zero, so it appears in the top left-hand corner. Next, we're going to read the current value from the power variable, read it as a, as a number, and we're then going to feed that into, or input that into the display. So first thing we need to do is set that to wired so we can feed an input in, change that to text, grid. Then you then link the wire so that the power variable is fed into there. We change the arrays so that it defaults to false and change the row to the third row. Okay, next we're going to add a loop. Expand that a little bit and link the wire so that feeds from the end of the text text box into the beginning of the loop. Next, we're just gonna wait until we've actually got a brick button being pressed. So that will just wait until that occurs, that event occurs. And then we're going to look at what value we actually got from the brick button, what button was pressed. Okay, so we're going to measure exactly which brick button was pressed. And we're going to add an extra choice here. So the default choice will be no button being pressed. Okay, so we click on the default um, button there. So in the very first case, if the left button is pressed, we're going to read in the value of the power. And we're going to feed that into a math block, which is then going to subtract. So subtract from the current power a value of 10. And then that new power will be read back into, or sorry, written back into the power variable. Okay, so that's if the left button is pressed. So next, if the, um, we do the same, for, if the right button is pressed, that becomes adding 10. And once we've exited that switch statement, we'll read in the value of power, and we're gonna update the display. So firstly, we just need to update the prompt. And notice we've got the erase button set to true, so it's gonna to totally refresh, refresh the display. and those values don't need to be changed. Okay, then for this one, again, it's a text grid. We're gonna wire that to the um, power variable and update the row so it's printed out in the third row. And finally for the loop, we're going to exit so this is our exit condition. We're going to exit when the middle button is pressed. Okay, finally, just a couple of um, little fixes to make. And there we go, that's input. Alrighty, so that wraps up the video on using brick buttons on the EV3 to get input from the user. Hopefully it's been useful. Uh, stay tuned for more, bye.